Now that I, Sakura Manami, is class president, I'd like to make this school a place that you can be proud of. <sighs> class president making a speech now is also the school Madonna. I'd only ever heard rumors, but apparently she's very diligent and has consistently got top of the class scores on all of her exams. She's beautiful as well, so she's apparently got it all. By the way, I, Kaito Hayasaka, have never talked to her. <laughs> Why is he wearing a box on his head? It's Hiyosaka, the kid that rarely comes to school. He apparently was involved in a traffic accident, and his face was mutilated. He doesn't want anyone to see his face. That's why he's never at school. He's always at the hospital. But I feel like the box draws more attention to him. I mean... There's a reason I'm wearing this box. Honestly, it's not too bad during the winter because it keeps me warm. But during the summer, <laughs> yeah, it gets way too hot. But I had to wear this box. If I took it off, it would be a little bad. Lunch break. Is Hiyosaka here? Hey, Prez, what's up? I'm looking for a boy, Hyosaka kun Seems like he's not here. Do you know where I can find him? He's always gone during lunch. Hmm, I see. He probably doesn't want anyone to see his face, which means he won't be at the cafeteria and he'd avoid the roof of the courtyard since there are too many people looking. Maybe one of the empty classrooms? Eh, uh, thanks anyway. I'll find him. Hyosaka kun are you here? Now I asked for permission from a teacher to use an empty classroom and was in alone quietly when suddenly the door swung open. The person who opened the door came waltzing in without any hesitation. Manami-san, I mean, uh, hey, Miss President, how can I help you? I think you know why. There was something I knew I would do if I became class president. Huh? What is it? Is it alright if I ban you from wearing your box to school? No, you can't do that. I've already got permission from my teachers. I don't know how rich your parents are and how much they've donated, but you shouldn't be allowed to do that at all. You're literally coming to school with a box on your head. Your neighbors and kids are all going to be completely shocked. What if people start spreading weird rumors about our school? I know what you're saying, but I come to school with a car. Oh, you're such a rich little kid. No, we're not rich. I have permission from the teachers, so you can't force me. Uh, apparently, it's not that you're just depressed or something. Why is she sitting next to me? You're right. I can't ban you from wearing your box since you have permission from the teachers. That's why I wanted to make it so you have an environment where you feel comfortable taking the box off. Can you tell me why you're wearing the box in the first place? You heard the rumors, right? Yeah, I've heard of them. But rumors are just rumors. I only believe what I heard from the person. Ugh. I was involved in an accident which mutilated my face, so I just can't show my face since then. Really? If you're lying, I'm going to be very angry. I hate liars. Yeah, of course. Okay, then I guess I'll believe you. She's pretty naive, huh? Oh, she's just thinking she'll make me pay for it when she finds out it's just a rumor. Look, Hiyosaka kun a person's value isn't decided by their face. It's what they have on the inside. You don't run because you think people will mock you. You just become so strong, they can't say anything about you anyway. You're going to regret it if you just keep going without facing it. Not your face, huh? What? You want to say something? Say something. You know, first impressions are everything. What's the first thing you see? A face. And I can't take your advice at face value, pun intended, when you look that good. I see. You're trying to start a fight to chase me away, right? No, I'm not going that far. I'm just saying what I think. I see. You've got a slight problem with your personality, too. Okay, I'll keep spending time with you until you change your mind. What? After I finish up with schoolwork, I will head to your house every day. No, no, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Don't worry, I've looked up your address and it's in within walking distance from my house. I moved before I started high school. Apparently, for better or for worse, I moved nearby the class president. What kind of twisted fate is that? <laughs> I'm excited to see you after class. While I was chilling at home. Sorry to keep you waiting. She really did come to my house. She wasn't in her school uniform, so I guess she went home before coming over. Is she your friend? Oh, she's very cute. Oh, sorry for the abrupt visit. Nice to meet you. I'm Sakura Manami. I'm the class president at Kaito School. The class president? Did he do something? <laughs> it's not like he did anything, but... 
Um... Oh. You must be wondering about the box. Uh, sorry. This is to protect him. I've heard the story. Don't worry. I'm not going to force him to take it off. Wait, isn't that literally why you're here? I want to work hard to make him feel comfortable taking off the box without being forced. I don't know if he's going to take it off or not, but I'm glad you're trying your best. You can stay for as long as you'd like. Come on in. Apparently she went over my mom in the short time that they spoke. She's definitely got the knack for speaking. She's a perfect class president. I was really surprised. Your mom is such a beautiful woman. Really? Yeah. She looks like she might have been on TV at one point. She also seems so young. I'd believe you if you'd said she was your sister. Huh. She really hasn't changed from since I was young. I see. It makes sense. What does? If that's your mom, then you must have been a great-looking man, too. That's why you're afraid of what people may think of you, since you're used to being treated as a good-looking man. Wow, she's got imagination. I don't know about the good-looking part, but I don't like thinking about what people will think of me. I really don't think that looks matter. Have you ever liked someone before? Uh, what? You said it looks aren't important, so you're talking about how good someone is at something then, right? Like they're ugly, but they can work really hard. I think if you're interested in someone, though, you've got to at least think they're decent looking. Oh, shut up! I don't have any experience in that field. Okay, then I don't think that your words carry any weight. Why are you mocking me like that? I don't have anyone I like in our class. But I have some actors I think are attractive. Actors, see? We end up with looks. Ugh. There are plenty of unattractive actors, too. Okay, who's the actor in question, then? Why do I have to tell you that? The fact that you can't tell me tells me a lot. Ugh. It, it's... It's Kaizuka Hiyoto-kun. Shut up. I, I didn't say anything? <laughs> what do you expect? He's good looking, but this isn't like a romantic thing. I'm not going to be able to date an actor anyway. I'm not choosing a partner based on looks. I feel like I'm finally starting to hear what she really thinks. The girl that I'd heard about was that she was this perfect girl that had everything, but now she's just a regular cute girl fitting for her age. Okay, okay, I don't think that you're that passionate about that guy anyway. That guy? Huh? Did you just talk down on Hyoto-kun? Wait, uh... Do you know how incredible he is? He's great looking for sure, but he grew up as a prodigal child actor and is a great adult actor too. He can do anything alone and he plays his roles perfectly. He even does his own action scenes. You better not talk bad about him. Oh, this girl's one of the serious types. Yeah, it's okay, I'm not talking down on him. Okay then. <clears throat> Sorry. I kind of lost control a little there. I don't know about a little. So, you do like him then? No! Stop putting words in my mouth! I see. Hey, you're not listening to me! F fine. I'll prove to you that I'm not judging someone based on their looks. What are you gonna do? Hiyosa Cocoon, you will be my boyfriend. Come again? Ah, you wanted me to ask you again, which means you want to hear me ask you out again because you're so happy, right? So we're now officially dating. No, no, I was just surprised that I wanted to ask you what you said. What kind of mental gymnastics are you pulling to reach that conclusion? Because you won't trust me. Your logic is insane. If we're dating, then we might be able to unbox your face at school too. And I'm pretty annoyed at everyone asking me out too, so it would help me out. It's a win-win. Yeah, I don't think I'm really winning in that scenario. What do you mean? It's a pretend relationship, so who cares? A pretend? You really think that I was going to try to ask you out for real? Of course not. <laughs> what are you talking about? I think it's because it was a distinct lack of explanation. She was definitely the one that said that in a misleading way. Whatever. Let's just go out as a pretend couple. I thought you hated people who lied. That's that, and this is this. This is for our own good. I wasn't sure how this for each other's good, but there was one thing I figured out. She just pretends to be a cool and collected girl, but she's actually pretty easily heated. Afterwards, she must have gotten embarrassed. She went home, almost as if to run away. But apparently, you were a pretend couple. I can't go to school again tomorrow, but 
Oh, what's it do? The next day. You apparently didn't come to school because you were sick? Are you okay? She came over to my house like it was a normal thing. I'm fine, you have to check up on me. Even if it's pretend I'm your girlfriend, I need to check on you. No, uh... I also said I'd come by as much as I can. She did say she would come over. I couldn't tell her to go home, so I let her in. Let's start with this. Hmm. What are you doing? You're my boyfriend, so you need to spoil your girlfriend. What? I thought we were just playing pretend? We need to practice so that we don't screw up at school. If we do this here, then it'll become natural at school too. You're being really naive here. You understand that? I can't do this to everyone. I'm only doing this because... Ugh, just give me a hug. I'm nervous too. Is this enough? Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's good for starters. For starters? This is pretty close, don't you think? I can feel your warmth and something soft. Mm, here we go. Now you're on my lap? I'm supposed to sit on your lap and be spoiled by you. Where is she reading this stuff? Come on, rub my head. Oh, uh, like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's so cute. What is her face? She just kept asking to be spoiled and I just kept obliging. From then on. Today too. She continued to come into my house every day and asking to be spoiled. I honestly thought maybe she had some ulterior motives, but she was so cute, so I just spoiled her as much as she liked. Then one day... Kaito-kun, you can go to school tomorrow, right? She was now sitting on my lap like it was a regular thing. She looked up at me before asking, Yeah, why? Then I'll come over before school. Let's go to school together. She probably wanted to walk to school together. I go to school with a car. Take off your box and take the train. Sorry, not possible. Then I'll ask my mother to let me ride the car with you. My mom was being referred to as mother. I'm not sure why. I think that'd be okay, but you can't do this around my mom, okay? I won't. I know my manners. She said, however. <laughs> she immediately clung on my arm after getting in the car. Maybe she thought my mom couldn't see her? I'm glad you two are getting along so well. Look at her smirking. She's definitely going to tease me as soon as we get home later. Wait, I thought we were a pretend couple? After getting out of the car. Oh, look at that! Why is the president on the box guy's arm? What? My president! The school went wild. Apparently Sakura is a very popular woman. Wait, why are you holding his arm? You can't tell? We're dating. The why? She looked like a regular girl who was excited to be dating someone. She's definitely the one that suggested this whole thing. The boys are completely fooled by this. Oh, I believe it! If you two are really dating, I want you two to kiss! Uh, what? There was a dude who was saying some insane things. There's no way. Uh, uh, okay. Sakura? If you're going to be satisfied with that and believe it, then I'll do it. Are you serious? It's okay. I really do like you because you're always spoiling me. I'll only lift your box so I can see your lips. Okay? It was just a pretend couple. I couldn't understand why she was going this far to pretend. However, I know that she's not the type of girl to kiss just as a performance. But you like Hayato. No, I told you that I don't like him as a romantic partner. I want you, Kaito. Or am I not enough for you? Fine. Hang on a second. I'll take this thing off. Huh? But I thought you didn't want anyone to see your face. It's fine. I've decided I'm going to live with my decision. Besides, I don't want to make you kiss someone that you've never even seen the face of. I took off the box from my head. Is this good enough? Uh? She looked at me and I could tell she froze up. She really didn't know who I was. Wait, who's that great looking guy? Wait, that's Hiyoto kun isn't it? Yes, uh, I was the actor. Hiyoto Kaisaka. I wanted to live a regular life without any attention, so I put a box on my head. You sure about this, Sakura? Uh, oh, wait, hang on. I didn't realize this is who you were. 
But if you call it quits now, it's gonna be a new problem. But you're literally an actor! It's fine. Our agency doesn't mind if I have a little romance in my life. So yeah, you wanna call it quits? Okay then. Uh... Mm. Apparently she had made a decision. I slowly brought my lips in to give her a kiss. After that day, I was a center of attention in a different way. Of course, news of my romance spread quickly and I was forced to even hold a press conference. I told them that I had no intentions of breaking up with my partner and would rather retire from acting to do that. The fans had to accept that. It wasn't like it was against the rules to begin with, so I didn't want to hear any of it. If people weren't as interested in me because I had a partner, well, then that's all I was. That's how we officially started dating and I decided to cut back on the amount of work I did. I used to accept all kinds of commercials and TV show offers, but now I wanted to focus on only my movie acting career. At least while I was a student, anyway. That's how I'm able to increase the amount of time I spend with Sakura. Speaking of Sakura... No one is allowed to get closer than absolutely necessary to Kaito-kun. She was very protective of me being around other girls. I didn't want to make her jealous, so I spoiled her to her heart's content.